This is going to be a video about uh, building a Pixhawk uh, longbow. Uh, we currently we have the Hawk and the longbow. Both of those are similar uh, in the fact that they have the same hardware and basically the same assembly process just that the Hawk is a 460 sized frame or 400 to 460 and the longbow is a larger uh, 500 to like 6 680 somewhere around there um, so this is going to be a uh, complete build video um, so it'll be somewhat long uh, I will caption areas where uh, you might want to pause and 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 pay attention or rewind or hear if there's information that you're going to want to know um, and uh, then like I said uh, or fast forward in the slow parts or the parts where uh, you know it's just me tightening something or screwing something down or whatever so so with that, uh, the first thing I'm going to point out is the bags that are across the top up here. Uh, when you get your kit, you should get uh, an assortment of baggies that is going to have all the parts and pieces that you're going to need to um, to build the drone. Uh, some of the items I've actually already done, uh, just to kind of uh, get a jump start. Um, if you notice on the motors. I've already mounted the motors. These are the 35 millimeter uh, bolts here. Uh, this is your motor plate. Um, so I've already gone through and, and added the motors to the motor plates. Uh, so on the baggies, let's see, where's our motor ones? You'll see here there's a baggie of motor screws, 8mm M318 pieces. So this is the baggie you would use to attach your motors to each one of your motor bases. Um, and then, like I said, the 35mm bolts are already on there. That's what these would be. You should get 8 pieces, 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, so this one I've already done and then um, the other thing I have done is I've already added the standoffs to the base this is the base of the longbow so I've already gone through these are 14 20 millimeter M3 standoffs so that's what I've done here and then the um, where are they? Uh, 46. 6 millimeter M3, 46 pieces is what you will be using to tighten down all of your standoffs. So I've already done some of these. I haven't used all of these, obviously, because I haven't done the top part, but you will be using your 6 millimeter M3, 46 pieces uh, to do standoffs. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this uh, because, like I said, there's I've, I've done this to, to get ready for pre-assembly. Uh, there's a couple of other items that I'm also going to do before completely assembling. Um, but with that being said, we can go ahead and start doing some of this. I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm going to go here. And then I'm actually going to do this piece and this piece right here okay so with that we'll come back to the 46 six millimeters and all I'm gonna do are those four and those four I don't actually want to put bolts in these six and you'll see why here shortly These are two and a half millimeter. Okay, that's that. And then, like I said, the reason that I left these open 
that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, is because this one will actually go there when we're ready for it, but we're not ready for it yet. So I'm gonna put it back over here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and set this aside because now what I want to do is work on my landing gear and get those prepped. So I'm going to put you over here. You should have a baggie that says landing gear. Should have 12 millimeter bolts, eight of them. And it should have nylon, nylock lock nuts, eight of them. So we will take that. Right there. And then we need landing gear pieces. So this flat piece, we've printed these. The flat piece is going to go up onto the bottom of the frame like this. And if you look at it, your landing gear is going to come out, you know, that way. So this All right, and so you can see nuts are there bolts there I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I wanted to match. See how that one's backed all the way back? So I want that one to be the same way. Okay. So that's how those look. And those will go on the bottom. So, we now have landing gear in place. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the 30 millimeters and the rubber tubes. So, we'll put these back for right now. And we're going to do rubber tubes and 30 millimeters. And then you can either go through and do them all or you can come in because now what we need to do is get our M3 lock a uh, nylock lock nut 24 pieces because that's what we're going to be putting on here. So I'll take that one. And right now I'm just going to leave them loose. I'm not tightening anything down really. All right, so we are getting pretty close. There should always be spares. We try to give us uh, one or two spares in case you drop something, lose something. We want you to not be out of luck, so. All right, so 
we've got landing gear base triangle front triangle back arms so now what we want to do is work on our esc parts so we're going to get this bag and you will have gotten a little bag like this that has your esc So, that's what it looks like. And I'm actually going to take this and this, and I'm going to move this out of the way. So, when you look at this, I want you to notice there's a number one, a number two, a number three, and a number four. Now, we have to find out the motor rotation or the motor which motors are what for pixhop so i will throw up a little graphic when i do the editing so that you can see what it's going to look like pins around the bottom so i'm going to go here just like that now it's in then I'm going to just go through and get this ready, like this. Alright, so it's pretty hard to see. But right there, I don't know, is a number, one through four. Over on the left, it's got a 5V, which is five volts. And over on the right, it's V bet. But right above that capacitor, right above it, is a one through four. And what that's telling you is that that is number one this one is number two this one is number three and then the last one is number four if you can remember that that's good if you don't you want to mark them somehow uh, with some colored tape something so that you know which ones they are because you're going to need to know it and you might not be able to see this when you get to putting it all together. So, I'm going to move that. Let's get these out of the way. Bring our longbow back over. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to do it this way. Now you're like, hey, why are you putting the power wires out the front? But... What we want are these wires to be able to curl up and go right up into the flight controller like that. And if you do it any of the other ways, you potentially will not have enough room. So, in your little, you should have a couple of these. We're gonna take this, and this, and I'm just gonna flip it right over and line up my holes. I'm not, not tightening all the way, just enough to hold it there so that I can get the next one. So, one, that's one, one, where's the top right, 
So one goes that way. left. So two is this way. One, two. This is three. Four. Okay. So now you have them out there. go over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this we're just going to bring you up just like so that's a Durandale. It's going to go like that. Motors. Motors. So we know we're coming up that way. Alright so let's go ahead and get this guy into place. <laughs> 